Good morning. I hope you're having a good day. But you know what, boys and girls? It's not such a good day here today. You know how Miss Kim has been threatening Gertie if he didn't straighten up that she was going to send him to the moon? Well, I thought she was just kidding all those years. But guess what, boys and girls? She wasn't kidding. Because you're not going to believe this, boys and girls. But the man from the moon came here today to get Gertie and take him to the moon. Enjoy! I can't believe it. So I, I don't know what to say or do, boys and girls. It's a sad, bad day here in the Gurton house, but I guess Gertie got on Miss Kim's nerves one too many times. I'm going to take you outside and show you what I mean. Come on, follow me. Okay, boys and girls, see? See out there, I told you. I wasn't kidding. Miss Kim has had it. Let's go out and see this special moon truck that she sent for. Let's go. Watch your step, boys and girls. Look at I can't believe it. She finally went through with it, boys and girls. Ooh, look at that, boys and girls. It's the man from the moon. Oh, no, it is terrible. I don't know. This is the special truck that Miss Kim called for to take Gertie away. I hope I, I, I know I get in trouble a lot, but I sure hope I, she never sends me to the moon. Oh, no. Look at... It's really true! So we gotta do something to try to rescue Gertie! Maybe I can go talk to the men from the moon who are in the house now, coming to get him! Okay, let's go! Kids! I can't believe Kim's going through with this! I, I, she said she wanted to send me to the moon for years, but I didn't think she'd go through with it! Quick, kids! One of you kids, you need to call Chip and tell him to get out here and get me out of this, okay? Somebody, please, hurry up before they drive away! Hey, boys and girls, well, here are the moon men. It's Mr. Quag and Mr. Trevor, and they're getting ready to take Gertie to the launching pad. But I wanted to ask you something. Uh, like, Mr. C and Mr. T, where are your space suits? Uh, we left them in, uh, we left them in the uh, spaceship. Oh, okay. And, and so I did notice, though, that you have your astronaut flags. That's really neat. So, so you guys aren't going with Gertie? No. Why is that? There's only room for one. Oh, and Miss Kim reserved him the spot already? Yeah. Okay, well, take good care of him. I guess you guys got to get going. So, okay, boys and girls. Well, this is Mr. The Moon Man, Mr. Quag and Mr. Trevor, over and out. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. I don't understand why it took him so long to leave. I guess they're doing a night launch, but there goes Gertie off to the moon. Boy, boys and girls, Miss Kim wasn't kidding. When she said she was going to send him to the moon, she meant it. There he goes. Bye, Gert. I'll miss you. Enjoy, that's for sure. Oh, boys and girls, I'm so glad it wasn't me. I got to shape up, or one day Miss Kim is going to reserve me a seat, too. Whoa! There wasn't anything uplifting about that launch, was it? Oh, boy, that was so sad. But you know, there is one thing. If Miss Kim decides that she's starting to miss Gertie again, well, guess what? Gertie didn't bring his telescope. So if she just starts to miss him, at least she can see him once in a while. Oh. Hey, boys and girls. It's me again, your old pal Chip, down in Gertie and Miss Kim's basement. 
This whole thing with Gertie being sent to the moon by Miss Kim, it's just not good. It's just not good, kids. And I gotta figure out a way how to get him back. So we gotta work on this, so I'm gonna think for a while. I didn't have anything come to me yet, but we gotta do something. I bet you sooner or later, Miss Kim's gotta miss him. Well, maybe. Hi, boys and girls. Yup, it's me, your old pal Chip. I've been doing some thinking, and I got my official NASA space rocket helmet on. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Chip, don't, isn't it true that almost every time you're in Gertie's garage near his time machine, you get in trouble? No, it's not almost every time. It's every time, I know. But kids, we got to do something. Gertie's on the moon. Oh, there it goes again. Gertie's on the moon, or maybe worse, he could be on an asteroid. He doesn't know how to drive a walking ship, oh dear. So here's what we gotta do, boys and girls, together. I had this idea as I thunk about it. Here's what we gotta do. We're gonna use the time machine. And I know, I'm not supposed to touch it, but this is an emergency. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set it back to yesterday, when Miss Kim wasn't mad at Gertie, and sent him to the moon. Well... I'll probably have to send that back a lot farther than that. But that's what we gotta do, boys and girls, and we'll bring him back and get rid of those moon men and save the day! Yay! Let me just see if I can do this now. Oop, there it is. So let's set the way back time to at least yesterday. And we'll see what happens. Uh, 